Now to a developing story closer to home that we first brought to you last night at 11. Check out this surveillance video of accused attackers leaving Bay Street in Savannah. Two tourists were attacked Monday. The couple was from Florida. We're told they're seriously hurt this evening. We're getting a better picture of exactly what happened. That couple recovering tonight after the attack. It happened Monday morning. They were in Savannah on vacation. That's right. Well, officers say a group of men beat them as they walked to their hotel. WJCL's Nick Notario got a chance to talk to one of the victims today. He joins us with more huge outcry with this story. A lot of fallout. Yeah, this is, you know, why it's a second incident in less than a year. Man, oh man, this one's got a lot of people talking. And we spoke to one of the victims today by phone, and she described how she feels tonight saying like I got hit by a truck. She has no idea why the attack happened, but she says it felt more like a sport than a robbery. It happened around two Monday morning. The tourists spent the night watching the Super Bowl. They then went to grab a slice of pizza on their way back to the hotel. Officers say they were jumped while they walked down Bay Street. Four men assaulted the couple and took a jacket before running off, actually driving off. Officers released video. You can see it on your screen of them getting in the car and leaving. The victim says the guy with her was beaten so badly he needs facial reconstructive surgery. An incident visitors say is a reminder to be careful. It's going to happen anywhere, but even so, you just have to be more alert, more aware of your surroundings. I think if you're just if you're careful and you don't look like a tourist, which we didn't do today, but if, um, I think you could probably avoid it. So far, no arrests have been made. Officers released the video in hopes someone will recognize the car. If you have any information on the assault, you can call Crime Stoppers number right there on your screen, 912-234-2020. Now, this incident caught the attention of the Tourism Leadership Council. The group's president sent us a statement saying, we feel that crime and the perception of crime is the most important issue that we face in the community. Our concern comes not only as the tourism workers, but most importantly as residents. And while we focus on working within our community, we must be ready to hold decision makers accountable. It is time for our entire community to band together to implement solutions. And guys, later tonight there are some great witness stories where they came to the rescue of those two people and we'll have what they saw and what they did tonight on WJCL News at 10 and 11. All right, All right Nick, thanks so much. Mm. You're All welcome. right, how disturbing. Thanks, Nick.